we've not really looked into our environment because our environment affects us in one way or the other the environment holds like Good afternoon, good evening, welcome to my channel, um, wherever you're watching me from. I want to say a very big thank you to all my beautiful subscribers out there. Thank you. I have been feeling the love, I've been feeling the vibration of love from you guys. I want to say thank you very, very much. And please keep watching, keep sharing. Thumbs up this, um, uh, the video if you're benefiting anything from us. Please don't forget to drop your comment down below we are here to answer your questions whatever um your questions um maybe i'm here to answer and if i don't on time um oh please forgive me i will definitely do if i see thank you and if also this is your first time of tuning in i want to say thank you for tuning in and please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to thumbs up this a video and also don't forget to tell your friends about us thank you very much um i'm so um, excited to be here again to talk to you i have very important uh, message that i want to share with you uh, i just want us to be aware of our spiritual um environment be aware be spiritual aware um of your environment yes that's why i'm here to talk about that's what i'm here to talk about um today because um something actually happened that um prompted me to make this video um you know uh there's there's a lot about your uh, environment that we don't really know about you just take it to be carnal you just take it to be very simple thing but they are very very important it is very very important our environment how how often how how have you prepared your environment to work for you to be um for yourself how have you done that spiritually because every day we wake up you take charge of your environment even while you're praying before you start your prayer you sanctify your environment you covered yourself you 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 close or um, spiritually you command every evil eyes to be closed every evil ears to be to be blocked so that your 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 um your request and your prayers can go to the right places that you want them to go to so this is why i am here to talk about this today so many things happen in, in our environment so many things happens around us sometimes you will be surprised that you jokingly say something and before you know it the thing is coming to pass those are the forces that that are very much around us that we are not out we are not aware of all those things that um happens around us so now i want us to be conscious of all those things because it matters a whole lot you can just play with somebody and say something that you don't really mean but before you know it it's coming to pass and you're like what's really going on i i was um just joking about those things there are angels there are good angels and there are bad angels there are, there are bad energies they are all looking around anytime any moment you see them around so let's see um, how we can really take charge of our environment charge our environment charge the frequency so that it will work positively for us that's what we're gonna we're looking into today it is very important because I come here every day and I tell you do this do this um, uh, there are so many things you can do to enhance your life there are so many things so many things you can do um, powerful uh, so many things about help so many things about this and that your environment tells about you your environment um, it's you so the energy you put into your environment that's what you get how do you have you have you ever thought of protecting yourself in your environment you go out in the morning you pray you ask god to open your ways um you you you, you move around uh, you move around your house you have to empower your environment bring in the positive energy send away all those negative vibes negative spirit all those um that are looking around to cause us harm this is what we have to do every time you wake up every morning every and in fact no every moment of your life you have to be conscious of those things i tell you go get um this herbs this herbs um do this do this it will work for you um do a spiritual bath 
do a spiritual bath and all those things but i didn't tell you before you prepare this thing before you do this thing you have to take charge of your environment speak to your environment let the let the frequency be positive put on the put on the positive energy um in ways you can actually um protect your environment um uh, number one um first work on yourself what how do you work on yourself get um cleanse yourself spiritually physically cleansing yourself spiritually by taking spiritual bath doing some kind of things doing some kind of prayers for yourself um cleansing yourself asking for forgiveness of sin um freeing your spirit from any negative from every negative spirit from from grudge if you're having issues with people if you're putting something in your mind clear all those things pray about them speak into your life take a spiritual bath go for spiritual um assignments you know um pray pray and fast and ask for forgiveness then um uh, uh there are so many things you can also do um burning incense cleaning your space physically this is what you should do you clean your space clean the cobwebs um, arrange your house make things make things put things in order and make all those things um, um, perfectly okay because um, uh, that is, there's nothing good that is not clean there's nothing bad that are not bad are not dirty you see their spirit you no know, do some do some um rituals to clean your environment the things that you use for your ritual works for your spiritual work you cleanse them um there are incense that you can use to do all this all, all those things to just clear your environment speak to your speak to your please your spirit guide uh god you can um uh, uh please your spirit guide by by um doing some sacrifice you know giving arms and all those things look for yourself look for yourself you really need need to really look for yourself know the kind of spiritual cleansing you have to do um to to cleanse your environment to please your spirit guide you have to do all those things you have to know them uh clean your space Take a spiritual bath before you do any spiritual thing make sure you take charge of all those things your environment speak to your environment um, invoke the right spirit the right frequency take charge cover your environment send all those bad spirits away now speak out what you want to do let the universe carry it out for you please your spirit guide um, some people, some people, spirit guide, you have to go give arm, you have to go perform some sacrifice, you have to burn some incense. Everybody has their different, different ways of pleasing their spirit guide. I have, I want, um, I, I spoke with somebody and um, she, she told me anytime she, she's um, finding it difficult in her business or things are not really working well for her, she, all she needs to do is just to get some fruits, you know, go to the river, pray and throw those fruits in it uh, inside the river yes that's her spirit guide so she has to please it you see she, she if she doesn't do those things you know there will be a distance between you and your spirit guide because um you have to do those things you have to know the right things to do at the right time so you take charge of your environment take charge of your life take charge of your environment anything you want to do even if they ask you to okay use um use um you can use salt use salt to do but this thing that's salt you're using to do there are spirit around that want to counter it that wants to counter what you're doing so before you even take the salt before you even start whatever you want to do you have to take charge of your environment you can use you can use if you don't have all those incense you speak words into the air speak words speak positivity into the air and see how this thing goes take charge invoke the right spirit the right frequency talk to your spirit guide sometimes your guardian angel will just be there you know um will just be there if you don't ask if you don't ask your guardian angel to do whatever for you it will just be looking at you it's just like you having a car that's swelling it uh you just enter and you say this car cannot move you have to you have to take a step you have to key the uh, kick uh, kick start the, the car you have to you have to do whatever you want have to do to move the car you can't just see a car parked and you enter inside without making a move prayer without work means nothing nothing it also applies to your spiritual it applies to your environment if you don't invite the if you don't invite the right air the right the right spirit around you 
anything any other spirit can just come in and do whatever wants to do with you and just go so these are what the things that you have to do you have to put these things into consideration and always make it right this bad spirit that walks around can also discourage you. Sometimes you find it difficult to, to complete a project, to finish up things. These are you. It, it is your environment. Sometimes you wake up very reluctant and you feel everything is just heavy. You feel this heaviness to do anything positive. These are the things that I'm talking about. So you need to, you need to really know what to do at the right time. Sometimes um, you t you go to a spiritual place and they do some things for you. They work on you. They do some spiritual work for you. And but, uh, when you when you collect it, as you're walking on the street, you don't know the spirit. The spirit they have eyes. They see spiritual things. The bad ones that says, oh, this one he has gone to this place. Oh, this thing is going to work for for this person. They count it as you're going. They've already spoiled it. So see, these things they live in our environment. They live around us on the street different places in your home around you all those things so what do you need to do and by the time you take that thing back to your house you walk to your house you, you um by the time you get home you start using it is not effective you don't know that the spirit that locks around has already destroyed the uh, destroyed the power in it so what do you have to do as you're going out you speak to you you speak to the air the air will not harm me the ground will not swallow me things bad things will not happen to me whatever i do prosper whatever i use my hands to do works for me as i go out you know the air i breathe works to works for my good the food i eat the water i drink everything where anywhere i step into wherever my foot my foot steps into works for me this is how to prepare yourself this is how to prepare yourself and if you don't do all those things that's why you see some people they walk and they carry the by the time they come back they are coming back with one bad sickness spiritual poison and probably that poison might not maybe it wasn't meant for this person but even if it was meant for you what do you do what how did you prepare yourself before you go out how did you talk to your guardian angel before you went out what and what did you herbs that you can use to help yourself be spiritual conscious of all those things. Have it in your spiritual mind that you have to always do this thing. You have to always protect yourself. You have to always protect yourself. There are so many incense you can burn. Uh, lemongrass, send all the spirits away. Um, lavender, send the spirits, all those bad spirits away. Ginger, thyme. I have a whole lot on the list rosemary you know all those things they send all those bad spirit away so you have to really know and as you're doing it because you have children in your environment you have children around you so you have to protect your environment for your own children's sake too and for yourself so that anything that you do what comes in perfectly you can uh, another way that you can also do all those things is that you can protect yourself for good things to come in if you have you can use coal you can put your coal around your your environment yes you can buy bitter cola and throw around your environment but don't just throw them like that you speak to them this is what I want you to do for me this is what I want this is why you are here you know you do all those things speak to the air to always blow in good things to your environment take charge of those things because you go you you you, you realize that you're praying all the time but your prayers are not working what kind of spirit are there what 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 are the spirit that 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 are around you that are answering your prayers for you that are taking your prayers for you they are monitoring spirit they just want you to uh, utter a word utter that word they carry it so you have to always Put your guardian angel at work for you. Let them stay guard. Let them be spiritually alert. Let them be alert for you. And how do you make them to be alert for you? It is by your word. You you give them. God has already told us. It's in the Bible that we have charge over over angels. You send them. They are messengers. What do you want your angel to do for you? You talk to your angel. Don't just keep quiet. Don't just keep quiet and look at your environment. You, you go into a new house. You move into a new house. You realize that things are turning upside down. Things are not working. What did you do? Did you pray? How did you sanctify the house before you move into? You're living in a particular, a particular environment. You find out that things are happening to other people. Good things are happening, but they're not happening to you. Your life is not moving forward. In this environment, what did you do? 
How did you do it? Have you sanctified this environment? Have you speak into the air? Have you speak into the frequency of the environment to work positively for you? These are the things that we need to put uh, put into consideration. These are the things that we need to tell our spirit mind to always um, to always remind us of. Do all those things carnally. Don't take. I know. Don't be too spiritual. That's what some people will say. But in this life that we are, if you're not spiritual, if you're not spiritually alert, things will definitely um, go wrong for you. So many things will go wrong for you. Telling you, I am telling you about um, favor oil, favor soap, attract. Uh, uh, um, attraction oil also many things and you are spending your money you're buying it's not as if it's not working what have you done have you because uh, your environment already uh, maybe that spirit is just there waiting for that good thing that will happen to you and you're not even aware of the spirit you just go, you buy it, and you come in you start using it, it's not working you're praying, you're fasting, your prayers are not going your, your, your prayers are not working for you. Nothing is really happening. Nothing positive is happening to you. Have you checked your environment? You cannot see all those things. And as it's not everybody. And as you cannot see all those things, please, you have to take this very seriously. You have to. You have to be a lot of your environment. You have to take charge of your environment. You have to sanctify your environment before you do anything. And clean your environment. Pray before you carry out anything that you want to do. And let's see how far it goes. I want to say a very big thank you to you. Until I come your way again, I remain your girl Oduan's vibration. I pray for you for more wisdom and understanding. I pray for your spiritual eyes to be enlightened. So that you will really, really know what, um, uh, how deep this wall is. Thank you very much. And please don't forget to share. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to tell your friends. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. God bless you.